What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, it is September 1st, which means the brand new Series 13 ranked season is upon us. And in today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a Life Orb Melmetal team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're enjoying the Series 13 content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really does go a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Viking BGC. Thank you so much for making this team. Huge shout out to you. Link to all your socials will be down in the description below. Definitely go check them out. He makes some banger rental teams. So if you guys are looking for cool rental teams, just head in that link in the description below and go check out his channels. But uh, yeah, we're using Melmetal, and today is the first day of the rank season, so I am now sitting at 0-0, zero and zero, so hopefully Melmetal can get us started on a strong note, and we can go 3-0 and oh in today's video. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with Melmetal. It is a pure steel type with Iron Fist as its ability, and it's rocking a Life Orb as item. It's got its signature move, Double Iron Bash, and then it's got two coverage moves, High Horsepower and Thunder Punch, alongside with Protect for its moveset. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Palkia. Palkia is over here. It can set the Trick Room. It can thrive without the Trick Room. It's really good in both ways. It's got Pressure alongside with the Citrus Berry. And then the move set is Spatial Run, Hydro Pump, Flamethrower, and Trick Room. Middle left is going to be Shadow Rider Kalash. One of the strongest Pokemon in Series 12. And I do not see that changing in Series 13. I think this Pokemon is still broken. I think it's still super strong and good on any single team. It's got the As One ability alongside with the Focus Ash, and it's got Astro Barrage, Will O Wisp for burns on physical attackers, Trick Room, and then Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Regilecki, and Regilecki is one of those Pokemon that is not legendary or mythical that is still super strong in this series. It's got Transistor and the Magnet to boost its electric damage, and then it's got Wild Charge, E Web, Bounce, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Weather Setter. It is going to be Groudon over here. He's going to be able to pair up with the Charizard, but Groudon has the Drought as its ability, obviously, and it's rocking the Soul Fest as its item. It's got Giga Impact, Stone Edge, Fire Punch, and Precipice Blades for its moveset. Final Pokemon on the squad is Groudon's best friend. It is Charizard over here with Solar Power and then Lumberry as its item. It's got Blast Burn, it's got Hurricane, it's got Solar Beam, and it's got Protect for probably the best moveset on any Charizard. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Mel Metal team. We have been dropped down all the way back to Great Ball tier because it is a brand new season. We are sitting at 0-0, zero and zero, so I'm hoping we can find an opponent. I'm hoping we can get started off on a strong note by grabbing ourselves a win here with this Mel Metal squad. But the thing about Series 13 is we're going to be seeing some crazy strong themes. Like, I feel like most teams are just going to consist of Mythicals and Legendaries and then a few, like, off meta or not off meta like a few non-legendary pokemon but more so support pokemon like grim snarl tornadus incineroar whimsicott so those pokemon are going to be the ones that you really see and then the heavy hitters are all going to be legendaries and mythicals but definitely going to be a cool season kind of to end everything off on because you know we only have about three months left till pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet comes out so this is going to be a cool series to kind of end everything on but we found our first opponent for series 13 hopefully we can beat them up get ourselves a win here in battle number one and we're going up against a strong magirna team and look at the team look at the team we're going up against like i just mentioned a bunch of legendaries and women's guy he's got zassian he's got kai ogre he's got yavelta he has uh what is that calyx and then he has magirna one of the strongest triggering pokemon in the game and then last but not least he is rocking women's god so how should we go into this one how should we play i could go calyx here he might lead like Whimsicott or something like that but i could go calyx and potentially pop trick room i could also go in with like mel metal no metal is not too bad, but do we think he's gonna pop a trick room of his own? That's the problem. Do we think he's gonna pop a trick room of his own? I mean, I don't really think he's going to. I think he's just gonna go in with speed squad, right? I could go with Caldrax. I could try to pop off this trick room. I could also go in with like Palkia, maybe to try to pop the trick room. Might be a little bit better. Palkia Mel Metal. Not too bad. I mean, he could taunt my Palkia if he has taunt on the Wimscott. But I think he's gonna lead, right? Makes a lot of sense. But, you know, I'm gonna go Palkia Mel Metal. I'm going to bring... Who should I bring in the back end? Bring Groudon in the back end alongside with Charizard. I think that's just our best bet. Or I could bring Calyrex. I mean, Calyrex isn't too bad, especially with that Focus Ash. But my only problem I got to deal with is going to be... Uh, is going to be that you built all. Which I don't like. I don't like one bit. So I'm going to bring Charizard. I'm going to bring Groudon. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves our first win in Series 13 on the rank ladder. Hopefully we can get started off strong. It would be beautiful. It would be lovely. It would be lovely. It would be lovely, but I'm going to try to pop this off. I'm going to try to pop this trick room off, get my boy Melmetal rolling, and then go from there. But guys, I didn't even ask you guys question of the day yet. 
and it is what are your guys thoughts on a brand new pokemon Grafia? i think that's how you pronounce it Grafia. it has just been announced like 45 minutes before i recorded this video and it's a really cool pokemon on it's really cool. It's kind of like a squirrel that like paints and does graffiti. It, it, I, it, I think it's all right. I don't think it's like super cool or super annoying. I just think it meets in the middle. You guys let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. We're just going to end up leading Yveltal alongside with Wimscott. And I just think I just popped this trick room easily, right? I could also Dynamax. Or I can stay in here like, hmm. I might just double Iron Bash this thing. I think he's going to taunt me. He might taunt me. He might Dynamax. I think I'm just going to double Iron Bash. He might Dynamax the Yveltal. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I'm not going to protect the Melmetal. I could obviously protect him and go for a Trick Room, but I feel like Melmetal is just fine here. He's going to end up charming me. Okay, that's fine. We still get off this Trick Room, which I'm kind of digging. I might just Dynamax Palkia in that case. Oh, maybe not. He's snarling me now. God dang it, yo. That's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. And how much damage can this double Iron Bash do while we're charmed? There's one shot. That's pretty good damage. I think we KO here. This little KO. It hits twice for 60 accuracy. That's beautiful. Love you, Melmetal. And has a 30% chance of flinching each shot. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. So I could swap Melmetal here. Which I'm leaning towards doing here. Maybe swapping the Groudon. I could swap Palkia too. Palkia is at full HP. I could also Dynamax Palkia, but kind of a problem. Kind of a problem with that thing being strong minus one. Eh, kind of hurts. Kind of hurt. So he's going to go into his next Pokemon. It is going to be Calyrex. He's going to Dynamax to Calyrex. And he's going to hope that I hit him in proc weakness policy. That's a problem. That is a problem. And he's going to go after my Melmetal. So do I swap Melmetal? He could go for a Quake. He could definitely go for a Quake. I'm trying to think. He has Ice moves. He has a lot of different things he can go into. I could pop Trick Room back in our favor. But at the same time, it's kind of tough. That's tough. Because again, he's going to Dynamax and hope that we proc weakness policy. 100% what he's doing. So I could double swap here. But what do I want to do? I do have Salt Vest. I don't think he's going to go into an Ice move into Palkia. So I kind of want to swap to Palkia, but still, this thing is going to start being really strong. It's going to start being super, super strong. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I think we swap you. I think we double swap. I really do think he's going to swap in or go into a Quake. Yeah, I really do. I really do think the Quake's coming out here. So I'm going to double swap. Mel Metal's gonna get the first swap. And he might just snarl again. He might just snarl again. And in that case, I mean, we could be pretty fine. But I just think he Dynamax. He goes for a Quake and he hopes that we pop weakness policy. This one's tough. This is a good battle, yo. Rank battles are totally different. I've been playing on casual for a little bit for Sword and Shield. Rank battles are a totally different game. Totally different game. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing. That's totally fine. Like I, I, I thought he would. And I think he wanted me to proc the policy with the, with the double Iron Bash. I'm not doing I do not want to do because again we were minus two he charmed us early on there I did some work for us if he didn't charm me we would have been thriving we really would have we would have been thriving so there's Dynamax hopefully he's going into the Quake into the Charizard slot we shall see he goes for a Hailstorm oh god into who don't go into Palkia slot oh no why are you going into a Hailstorm into Palkia man leave me alone leave me alone takes out my Groudon no problem and now he's probably just strong which kind of hurts his soul but this quick case, I bring back out Mel Metal and I probably just Dynamax him, right? Probably our best bet. We are slower. We are slower. And this one goes for a Snarl. Snarl? No, it goes for a Foul Play. So if Foul Play is into me, Charizard's able to eat pretty well. And the buffets are going to fly. Okay, so Mel Metal's got to come back out here. We still have Palkia, which is pretty good. Um, I got a Dynamax start getting defense boost, right? Dynamax Mel Metal. We could go into Double Iron Bash. Do I go into that Pokemon? Into the Catherax? I don't know what I do here. It's tough news. This is real tough news. Yeah, I definitely want to steal spike, and I might just go into you. Just in case he wants to guard here, and then I kind of just want to blast burn across into this slot, if we can get that off. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, because I know Melmetal is slower than Calyrex, so we're going to go first. So I really don't want to pop the policy. I kind of just want to get after his Pokemon and go from there. And then maybe, just maybe, he'll go into, like, my Mel Metal and my my Charizard can survive. We get off a of Blast Burn and then we can Steel Spike and maybe pick up the KO on them. But yeah, this one's going to be a tough one. It's definitely going to be tough. Tough close battle here. Steel Spike's coming out here. He doesn't protect or anything. How much damage is Steel Spike going to do? Just be able to chunk off some nice damage. Picks up the KO. That's beautiful. It's a big time KO for us. A big time KO for us. So we get a big time KO. We get a defense boost. We still have Palkia in the back end, which I like. And I wonder who his final Pokemon is. I really do wonder. His Calyrex is going to go next, and I don't know who he's going to go after. He's going to go for a Quake, and that's definitely in the Metal, which we should be able to soak up. 
We should be able to soak that up. Beautiful. So we soak that up all day. He goes special defense boost. Uh, I think he's proc a weakness policy here. I think we are going to proc a weakness policy here. He has no defense boost, so Blast Burn's going to fly here. He's going to do a decent amount of damage. And he's going to proc the policy, right? Yes. Yeah, so policy's proc. And I think we have to go into a steel spike here, right? Did we double down into this Pokemon? That's the real question. That's the real question. Did we double down into this Pokemon? I mean, we still have Charizard, but we can't use another move with him. The Charizard's chilling here. I wonder what he's going to do. This is final Pokemon. Final Pokemon's going to be Kyogre. I'm kind of leaning towards going after Kyogre, but it's tough. It honestly is tough. This is super tough. This is tough. Do I go after the Kyogre? In case of the guard? Because he might just guard that shot. And then... Oh, that could be good. Because how many turns left in Trick Room? How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. I think he guards. I really do think he guards. So I'm just going to Lightning over on this slot. I'm going to read the max guard here. He does not max guard. Okay, can this KO, please? Can this KO? It does, yo. Mel Metal's teeing off. Mel Metal's teeing off. And the best part about this is he gets one choice of who to take out. And I hope he takes out Mel Metal. I really do hope he takes out Mel Metal. Take out my Mel Metal, please. Take out my Mel Metal. What are you going for? Go for another Quake? He's going to go for Quake. So he takes out Mel Metal. He's plus two on special uh, defense. He's plus two on special defense here. Up against two special attackers. We can't really go for Blast Burn. Hurricane will land 100% of the time, which is good. So we have a chance for Ducks. And this battle is coming out to the wire. We're going to hope that we can get some crits with some Spatial Ren. But, mm, It's coming down, yo. It's coming down to this last move. Let's go, yo. We want this win so bad. Charizard must recharge. We got Palkia with... Uh, oh, we don't have Protect with Palkia, which kind of sucks. We do have Protect with Charizard. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to Protect with Charizard. Palkia's going to come out here. And, oh my. Uh, this, this is definitely tough. We still have a citrus break, but I feel like he can KO me in one shot. He's plus two. He's plus two. This hurts. This hurts. I wish I had protect on Palkia. I really do. I really wish we do. But in this case, we're just spatial rending. We're looking for his crit, and we're just going to protect Charizard. Protect this lovely little Charizard here. The Charizard comes out with the protect. We have one more turn left in Trick Room. He's going to go first. What's he going for? He's going for a Glacial Lance. Can you eat that up, Palkia? I don't think Palkia can. I really don't think it can, which kind of hurts his soul. I think this thing can eat up a Blast Burn, being plus two on Special Defense. And it's in the ring, so we got to go for Hurricane. Can you eat that, Palkia? You cannot, dude. Oh, my God. We need Ducks here. We need Ducks ASAP. We need Ducks right here, right now. We need Ducks. And I don't think we can actually duck them because there's uh, Electric Terrain. That hurts, man. That hurts. We gotta go for the Hurricane. Blast Burn's not gonna do enough damage. What a battle. What a first battle gets Series 13 started. Super close. Look at this thing just soaking up. Oh, we do get Ducks. We're allowed to get Ducks. Can you hit yourself in Confusion? Can you hit yourself, please? Go ahead, hit yourself. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage. Okay, now what's doing more? This Hurricane or this Blast Burn? This Hurricane was stabbed. Oh my god, it's coming down to the wire. How many turns left in rain? Two turns left in rain. Oh my god, I want to protect this turn. Uh, I'm going to protect and maybe he hits himself in confusion. Let's play it slow. Let's play it slow. Maybe he hits himself in confusion and we win this game off RNG. Yeah, be ducked up. Oh, of course he snaps out of confusion. Okay, so here's my call. We can either go for double protect or we can go for the KO here. And I'm trying to figure out what does more damage. So, Blast Burn's going to be double because, or, or 1.5 because stab. But the problem is it's in the ring. I don't know what does more damage. This is 110. Shh. I'm trying to do the math. So, you get the 1.5 times multiplier here, which would be half of that added onto it. So, that would be, what is that? It's 55? So, this would be 165. 165. This would be super effective. This one should do more. Even in the ring. I think Blast Burn might be able to win us this game. Let's go, Blast Burn. Get it done. Get it done, Blast Burn. Get it done, Blast Burn. Take him out. KO for the win. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The Jeans come back to get Series 13 started. We're sitting at 1-0. That battle is not looking good for us, but yo, we come out on top. All I have to say is, wow. What just happened there? What a first battle to get Series 13 started. We're sitting at 1-0.
And honestly, that was one of the closest battles I had in a while. Mel Metal showed out and sh was showcasing that first battle. It dominated. It got how many KOs? Three. Took out the Kyogre in one shot. Took out the Yvelta in one shot. Took out the Whimsicott in one shot. But then that Calyx was just coming back on us and doing a lot of work. But my boy Charizard was able to clutch up, get the Confusion. And that Confusion damage did insane amount, which was awesome. And then Blast Burn was able to pick up the KO. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a crazy strong team. Sableye, Keldeo, Victini, Thunderous, <laughs> Shadow Rider, Calyx, and Groudon. That is wild. That is wild. I got to go Calyx here. I feel like Calyx is really, really strong. So I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon and just rolling out from there. So I'm going to go Calyrex. Um, I think it's fully boosting speed, right? No, it's an Adamant. It's Adamant? This have It has a what's called. It definitely has a... Uh, definitely has a Mint. Definitely has a Mint on that. So we're going to roll. I think it's a Timid Mint. I think it's Rocket Timid. So we're going to go Calyrex. We are going to go... I could go Groudon and get some weather going here. Or I could just lead Charizard. I mean, Charizard's not too bad of a lead here. I'm not going to lie. Charizard can get a lot of work done. It has a lot of great moves here. I'm really liking Charizard as a lead. So I'm going to go Charizard. I am going to bring Groudon in the back end. And then last but not least, I feel like Regilecki is our call. Right? Yeah, I really do think Regilecki. Why go Palkia? I could go Palkia over Regilecki. And I'm leaning more towards Regilecki just because it's fastest on the field. So I'm going to go Regilecki here. We're going to lock it down. We're going to lock it in. And uh, look for back-to-back -back victories in Series 13. But I can't believe how close that last battle was. Super hype though, super hype though. Mel Metal's doing some big damage with Life Orb. Big damage. Big time damage. But this battle's gonna be close. This battle's gonna be close. That's what I said about uh in the beginning about series 13. Is every single team is going to be super powerful. So it's gonna be tough to I, I feel like this series is gonna be definitely tough to win. He's gonna go cook Keldeo. He's gonna go here. I think he's gonna proc weak this policy. And what do we do? He's definitely gonna proc weak this policy, drop a rock. Uh I don't really want to Dynamax at that at this point. I could pop a Solar Beam into Keldeo and just drop. He could, he could take out my Charizard because he's going to Dynamax pop, pop weakness policy. So you know what? I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp. I could Solar Beam. Oh, Hurricane's super effective. But Hurricane's not going to hit. Could go for a Blast Burn. Like, we know we're dead. That's just thing. We know we're dead. We're going to throw a Burn onto him. Do I just Solar Beam here? I'll go for a Solar Beam into Keldeo. I'll go for a Solar Beam because we know he's going to Dynamax. Not for a fact. Yeah, there's Dynamax. There is that lovely Dynamax. We're probably going to have to Dynamax our Groudon. He's going to pop weakness policy all day. But we're going to throw a burn on him, which could do us really good. So he's going to drop a rock into Charizard, I think. I think he drops a rock into Charizard all day, right? So he's going to take off our Focus Sash as well. Let's see what he does. Aqua Jet, yeah. I could have Dynamax to guard it. Would have probably been a smart play. I just don't feel like wasting my Dynamax. So Willow is going to come out here, which is gorgeous. We do that. We throw a nice lovely burn on him. There's no way he's Lumberry. Obviously, he's not Lumberry Jeans. He just popped Weakness Policy. <laughs> so Weakness Policy came out. We drop a Solar Beam. How much damage is this Solar Beam going to do? How much damage is this Solar Beam going to do? Such a cool move. Maybe half? Or full. I love you, Charizard. I forgot, dude. Solar Power Charizard is just on a different level. So we get rid of Keldeo, he's going to drop a rock into me. No, he's going to drop a lightning instead. That's even better. So we keep our focus dash. The lightning comes out there. That's fine. So Charizard goes down. I could Dynamax my Groudon from here and kind of roll out from there. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards that. I have Regilecki in the back end. I feel like saving that Pokemon, and I really don't feel like using it up against Groudon. So I feel like my Groudon is an absolute must to bring out here. The so big time burn from our Calyrex. We're going to bring out Groudon with our Soul Fest, and we're probably just going to Dynamax him and go from there. And go from there, yo. Dude, I love ranked battles. Ranked battles are so much better than casual. They are 10 times better than casual. They really are. They really are. They're just so much more competitive. And just so much... Like, you have, to, you have to be on your toes a lot more. Like, I was playing casual with, like, Series 13 teams. And I was just rolling out strong using what's called. Using, uh... Who was I using? Oh, I was using a Genesec team. And I won, like, 19 in a row. And it wasn't even, like, tough battles. I was just getting... I was just getting after it. I was just getting after it, but let me see this ground on speed because I might pop a trick. I'm thinking about it. I don't think I should. I really don't think I should. Uh, I am just going to go for an Astro Barrage. Probably my best bet. I have Focus Ash on. And I could Dynamax and just go for a Quake. Uh, who, else, who does he have in the back end? You think he has Special Attack or Physical? It's got to be a Physical because it's got to either be the Bikini or the Thunderous, right? So I don't think we're going to get that much value out of Quake. What do I do here? Definitely want a Dynamax. 
I still think maybe we just quake right into here. Get off as much damage as we can. Hopefully my cat actually was first though. That'd be beautiful. And I wonder if he's double down on my Kalex. Because I was going to drop a rock. But the thing is, I have Regilecki in the back end. And I can outspeed him. And I could actually just bounce. I could bounce out and dodge him. That would be a great play. Bounce out and dodge a move next turn if Kalex was down here. This battle is going to come down to the wire here. We do have a lovely Assault Vest. He's going to go first. He's going to imprison. Okay. That's actually really smart. That's actually really smart. Quake's going to fly here. That might have been the smartest play ever. That was really smart. Hopefully he goes after my Calyx here. Hopefully he goes after Calyx. We're going to boost special defense here. And what's he going for? He's going for a quick... Well... And he's going into my Groudon. Wow. Okay. This battle's coming down the wire. I feel like I have to swap here, right? I feel like I have to swap or maybe just protect Calyx here. And do I drop a rock? Or do I drop a quake? Or I can go like this. This thing's gotta be Sash, right? It's gotta be Sash. So you know what? I'm just gonna go there and just quake in this slot. I'm my best bet. Cause I gotta get rid of this Pokemon right here right now. He has got to go. Astrobot's gonna fly here. He's gonna bring me down to Sash. And hopefully he's going after my Groudon still. Cause if I can land, oh dude, do we have the electric train. What am I doing? Oh no, it still works in the electric train? I'm a little confused. Oh, it's, I think it's just like sleeps. That's fine. Okay, right, so this comes out. And we get rid of the Calyx. So Calyx is going to be gone. We're hoping that his Groudon is going after me. We're hoping his Groudon is going after my Groudon. And once this thing's gone, then Prism will be gone. All right, I think that's how it works. If not, I will swap Calyx all day. He's going to Quake. Go into my Groudon, please. Go into my Groudon, please. Do not, do not take out my Calyx. Cool. Who goes into ground? Ground's able to soak. This is such good. He's boosted in special defense all day. I could protect now. I don't know what I do. Let's see how this one plays. So we get for the Calyrex. Oh my god, yo. The Series 13 content, it's fire. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on today's video if you're not subscribed. Let's get on out of here. There's no way you're watching this far into the video and you're, and you're not subscribed. But if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit it up. He's gonna ooh, Sableye's gonna come in here, so he can quash me up. Quash me up. Uh Am I still in prison? I'm kinda curious about that. I'm not in prison, right? Cool. So I feel like he's gonna have to quash me up here, right? Or do I just drop an astral barrage and go for it? I think I just protect here. And I just quake straight into this thing. Straight into this thing's mitt. Yeah, I'm just going to protect Calyx. I need to get rid of this Groudon. This Groudon has got to go. And I kind of need this Calyx a little bit. i go for a Shadow Sneak. Nice. Nice protect by Jeans here. He's probably blading as well. But we outspeed it, which is huge. Can we KO with this? Is it KO? Oh my god. Um, I feel like I don't, I don't have protect on Groudon, but two burns will take him out. Two burns will take him out. This battle's coming down to it. It's coming down to it. Blade's going to fly through it. We get another turn out from Groudon, which is huge. So our Groudon's outspeeding his Groudon. The thing is, he either Shadow Sneaks into me. We're looking good here. We're, look, we're looking real good here. I think I'm just going to connect the Fire Punch into the save line because another burn takes him out, right? And I have Protect on Regilecki. Right, where's Reggie at? Reggie does have Protect. Okay, that's really good for us. So at this case, we got to drop an Astro Barrage. Get off as much damage as we possibly can. Either force him into a Shadow Sneak. Because it's either he Shadow Sneaks, takes out my Calyrex. Or he doesn't Shadow Sneak and he takes his Astro Barrage. And then in this case, we know the Burn's going to take out... Uh, we know the Burn's going to take out Groudon. So I'm just going to go into a Fire Punch here. Because if I go into a Blades and Mist, that can really do me dirty. So he's going to end up Shadow Sneaking into there. Okay, we should be able to eat that up. We don't. But I would rather hit this Astro Barrage all day. Thank you very much. I'll take that all day. Maybe he thought I, maybe I was going for double protect. But now I'm going straight for an Astral Barrage. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So he Shadow Sneaks in the ground on for the KO. And, you know, Shadow Rider Calyx just can come out here. Pop an Astral Barrage. Pick up the double kill. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0 for today's video. We guarantee ourselves a winning record. We can hop into our third. Look for a perfect record.
Look at us, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting at 2-0 for Series 13. Looking good, feeling good, playing really good. Hopefully, we can hop into this third and final battle and grab ourselves a perfect record to get Series 13 started off strong. But we're almost an Ultra Ball tier, which would be awesome. Especially if we win this battle, that bar is just going to fly up and pretty much go into that Ultra tier. And uh, probably bring us a little bit like towards the mid-level Ultra tier. So hopefully, if we go like 4, 5, and 0, we can get straight in the Master tier. But final battle coming at you guys. And look at this team. These teams are stacked for Series 13. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Zacian, Yveltal. If I had to guess, Weakness Policy, Solgaleo. And then he has uh, Zygarde. And then his support mod is going to be Tornadus. Okay, how should I play this one? I could go back into Trick Room, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I feel like Trick Room's really good, but I don't want him to lead Yveltal. That would be my problem. So who has Trick Room on our team? It's Palkia and it's uh, Calyrex. If he leads Yveltal, that could do us dirty. Um, I think I'm just going to go into Calyrex. I just don't see him leading Yveltal. I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. I'm kind of scared. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I'm still going to lead him. I have Focus Ash. I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to go Melmetal. I'm going to go Palkia. And then final spot... Groudon does a lot of work here. I do really like Groudon. We're going in with our Mythicals and Legendaries for this battle. Or do I want to bring, bring like Regilecki in the back end? I mean, Reggie could be good. But at the same time, I'm really liking this team. I'm really liking this team, but yeah, our chance is here. Our chance is now. We're looking to grab ourselves a perfect record for Series 13. We only get one chance at this to grab ourselves a perfect record to start off Series 13. It's our one and only shot. Don't blow this, Jeans. Do not blow it. Do not blow it. Either way, win or lose this battle, we had some great battles so far. Battle number one and battle number two both came down to the wire. And there was just awesome plays all around. We're just going to end up going into these two. I can definitely see him popping out. I'm going to protect my metal here. and just pop a Trick Room. Or do I not? Do I not? This is tough because he could go into like an Icy one, But I feel like he goes more so into like a Trick Room here. Or a Tailwind. There's a reason I say that is because if he doesn't go into a, a Tailwind, my Calyrex has a chance to outspeed him. So I'm just going to pop Trick Room and I'm just going to protect. That's what I play all day. I'm saying he's not going into Ice Wind. I think he goes straight into Tailwind. Let's see what he does. He's thinking now. It's competitive and ranked so much different. It's so much different. It's so different from casual. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into Astro Barrage. And yeah, he's doing it to me. What a play. What a play. He's going to take out my Calyrex, no problem. He's going into that Icy Wind. Smart play. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Can you miss my Calyrex? Goes for Heat Wave. Dodge a Calyrex. Dodge a Calyrex. Dodge a Calyrex. Dodge a Calyrex. Oh, man. That hurts. That hurts. I think I just Dynamax my Metal here. And pop a trick with Palkia. That one hurts. I have to Dynamax my Metal here. Okay, so we're going to Dynamax my Metal. Um, hmm. We get rid of the Tornadus. I mean, Tornadus might be Sash. I mean, Calyrex might be Sash. I think Calyrex is probably Sash. It's tough, but yeah, we're going to have Dynamax Mel Metal. We'll try to pop Trick Room here. Trick Room all around, and then I'm just going to Dynamax and the Quake. What other Pokemon does he have? Seems like more so physical attackers in the back end, right? Zacian. Solgaleo, Zygarde. He's got to have Zacian, so, you know, I'm just going to start boosting my defense here. That's my play. That's my play. That's tough. That is tough. And I was sitting there in turn one, and I was thinking maybe, maybe he was going to do that. Super smart play by him. The thing is, when you lead it like Melt Metal, like I just did, it kind of gives it away that we're looking to pop a Trick Room. So I should have just went into an Astro Barrage. Should have protect Astro Barrage, get off as much damage as I can, and then pop into Palkia here. Definitely would have been a bit better play. He's going to end up taunting me. Oh, my God. Ah. Hurts the soul. Her soul, this dude just outplaying us left and right. Ash Barrage gonna fly here. Do some crazy damage onto us. He crits my Palkia, how dare you. And we can't even trick him, man. Can't even trick him. Show me this thing has no Sash. It has a Sash. It has a Focus Sash. We're gonna get a defense boost, but that's gonna be no bueno for us. It's gonna be really no good for us. Let me get Mel Metal flying. We can't trick him here. Uh, what do we do? Hmm. I guess we'll go into this flamethrower. I really... Do I take out Calyrex? Who do I take out here? I mean, Calyrex is going to start being a pain. I think we just defense boost, take out Calyrex. Ah, this hurts, man. This hurts. Getting outplayed by Tornadus. 
But we kind of relied on getting Melmetal out there in this next battle. But Ash is going to fly. He's going to pick up the KO on Palkia. Heatwave is probably going to come out here. Grimnade is going to get boosted. I do not like this one bit. We had a fence boosted really well here. And okay, Melmetal dodged it. Why couldn't my Calyrex dodge that? I really needed my Calyrex to dodge Heatwave. We dodged a Heatwave there. We get rid of him. We're plus two on defense. Uh. I have Groudon in the back end. I have one more turn left in Dynamax. Probably a Zacian. Wait, he definitely has to have Zacian. I feel like we just keep boosting defense here and rolling out strong. So at this point, I'm going to go Groudon. He's going to Dynamax whatever Pokemon he throws in here. And he might even tell when. Maybe, maybe not. going to be Yveltal. That hurts his soul. Do I, do I Thunder into him? Do I double down? Maybe Stone Edge and Thunder? Could be the plays. Could be the plays. But our problem here is... Dude, this is tough. Our problem here, we just have tons of problems. I could stun it. I think I got to double down into it, right? But I feel like he takes out my metal one shot. I might just go here to finish you off. But then Zassian comes out there. No. Yeah, we. if we're going to win this battle, we have to double down in this Pokemon right here. And maybe hope that he goes after my Groudon. I could have guard, guarded here. But we got to hope that he goes after my Groudon because my Groudon could soak with the Soul Fest. And then if this thing Dynamaxes and we can double down and get off some big damage, that could be good, but it's not looking good for us. Not, not even close. It's not even looking good for us at all. Just his turn his turn one really won him the game. And that's what's so huge about your lead in Pokemon. It's like turn one, you can win yourself the game. And that's exactly what our opponent did right here. He made a great call. Read our protect. Read that we were going to trick him, so we double down and moves instead of going for his tailwind. He rolled out from there. If we would have went to an Astro Botch instead of a Trick Room turn one, that probably would have been better for us because we could have picked up a KO once that turn on us. And then we could Trick Room next turn, but we went for it all in one shot. He's going to end up going for a Flare, and you were taking out my Melmetal. How dare you? Can you eat that? No, Melmetal, you get absolutely dumped on. You get dumped on. Flare. Flares. Who flares? It works, but who flares with the Yveltal? He's going to show he's orbed. Heat waves can come through. Yo, we, we, we're dodging heat waves right now, left and right. Stone Edge coming in hot. Some nice damage. Wow, we could have. Wow. Could have been maybe sitting pretty good here. If Mel Metal was eating that shot, we could have been sitting pretty good. But I feel like that would have KO'd. Would have been close. I would have loved to know because Mel Metal's hitting like a truck. He's hitting like an absolute truck, which I love him. Which I love him. But. This match is definitely over. I could have ran it, but I kind of want to take out his Tornadus just to, just to pick up an extra KO. He's going to Airstream. That's going to be easy soaks for us all day. We have a Soul Fest. Actually, wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And uh, he's probably going for a Heat Wave. He should be able to soak it up, but he's going to get lucky. He's going to land us one, and he's going to get a burn. I have an odd feeling he's going to get a burn here. Right here it is. Heat Wave coming out here. It connects. He's getting the burn all day. He's getting the burn all day. He did not. Cool. Stone Edge comes out here. Can we take out this Pokemon? We don't get the crit. God dang it, man. We don't get the crit. We don't get the crit, and that's going to be GG's. But hey, we don't get swept in battle number three, and we grab ourselves a beautiful winning record for today's video. What a way to get Series 13 started off with a beautiful winning record, and more importantly, we got to showcase Melmetal to its fullest potential. This Pokemon is... It's, it's a god. It is a god. It hits like an absolute truck, and it is just great in the trick room. It is slower than Calyrex, so it can counter Calyrex, and it just hits really hard with that Life Orb paired up with that Iron Fist as its ability. But we got other Pokemon on the team, like Palkia and Calyrex to set up the trick room. Then Regilecki, Charizard, and Groudon are just great back-end Pokemon for when you don't want to roll into trick room. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.